Okay, and then you can use your... We're going to go somewhere today as an adventure. Um, we quite, I want to go see if the old Williams Grove is still there. Park. Um, see if they've rebuilt. They probably rebuilt up around it. Um, or uh, Gettysburg or where our, my dad's from, which would be Biggerville. I believe my dad went to Gettysburg High School or Biglerville High School. I'm not quite sure. Can I go? Yeah. Can go. You're not going to get sick on me because she tends to get car sick? No, um, um, I think I'm okay. Although I do have to pee. Oh. <laughs> Already. <laughs> oh. You could have went back there. <laughs> I know. And I did. Well, I guess I could stop at McDonald's up this way here. Because I think we have to go across the bri river bridge to get on yeah. 11 and 15. Yeah, if you're going to Mechanicsburg. Yeah, we gotta go past Mechanicsburg. Um, I'm still taking into account that we have two dogs at home in the cage, so I'll try to be back home here. Uh, Maybe six o'clock. Since we did uh, hamburgers and chicken tenders, that's already made. So uh, we have food at home waiting on for waiting on us. If we uh, just nuke it or put it back in the oven. Yeah, luckily he caught me on a good day that the ringing really wasn't bad. I thought I'd need to carry a whole bunch of stacks of paperwork with... pressure behind your ears. That's That was pretty interesting. I think it was pumping air in. Because he was pre pressing pretty hard to keep it in the hole. probably say, man, them were some of the filthiest ears I ever see looked in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I saw carrots and potatoes and you name it. Growing. Hope you guys like my singing Cuz I won't get a copyright if I sing Yes, so you can go Tinko. 
So you can go tinky vinky. And let's go back here. I see you people like to sit in their cars and use the Wi-Fi from McDonald's. Oh, I got free Wi-Fi. Now I can download my uh, YouTube that I did last night in my basement. My little cooking show in my basement. <laughs> what are you getting? You got monies. Oh. Okay. Three dollars. I don't know. I take five. Yes, just in case. All right. Two iced teas, please, sweetened. Okay, YouTubers, let's see here. Am I recording? Yes, I'm still recording. Hi. Hi there. How are you? Uh, I just went through a hearing uh, check. So, um, my right ear is worse than my le left ear. So, uh, but not, not really that much. Uh, so... I'm not really deaf. I'm not... Just a little bit of hearing loss, that's all. Uh, I was working as a mechanic. So... And uh, being in the military and listening to generators run constantly... Uh, that's what it was this past uh, deployment was... Generators constantly running so we could stay cool in air-conditioned... Uh, other than that, you had to deal with 140 plus weather. Um, drinking at least uh, one liter of water an hour um, to actually compensate for the heat. Uh, I'd sweat profusely. I'm a sweater. Uh, I sweat, sweat, and sweat. And it will build up, and you will see the white salt that comes out of my body uh, when I sweat. Um, that was in Iraq, 2010, 2009, 2009 it was, yes, Iraq. Um, let's give you a comparison. Go to your oven and put it at maybe 500 degrees uh, for about let, let that you know come up to temperature um, and then for about 15 or 20 minutes run it at that rate and then when you first initially open that door and you get that blast of heat that at constantly is what it feels like all the time in the Middle East. Um, so it was an experience to do that, but I would like to never do that again. But currently, with turmoil in the world, um, we may have to go back there. We may have to go other places. Um, and we're constantly training and getting ready to go wherever they send us. Um, I've never been away from Rachel, um, so it's kind of hard um, to do something like that. So these next few weeks. I'm starting out with a week, maybe going to school. If that ever gets approved, um, starting with a week. And then I'm going for my MOSQ'd, uh, to be MOSQ'd. Um, that's a month. 
and then uh, if I ever sign up to be deployed um, so that's kind of where we're at um, gradually getting her into the idea of uh, this whole deployment I'm not just gonna just like even though my unit could say hey you're good to go on at your green on everything uh, we're gonna we're gonna deploy you uh, they could do that they could make it mandatory but um, I'm just trying to do what I can to help Rachel uh, I just don't like just don't want to just up and have to leave in the next like whatever whatever time they time frame they would give they can give you f uh 48 hours maybe even less maybe 24 i don't know and you have to have all your stuff in, in ready to ready to be deployed so you got to have all your finances in order and you got to have everything in order so It's just interesting how the military runs. Um, so, anyway. Uh, boy, she must have really had to go. But anyway, I want to take you back uh, see if we can't see any remnants of the Williams Grove Park. Where I went to when I was a kid. With my dad. Uh... We went there and rode the roller coaster and got hand stamps and rode the roller coaster, went in the haunted house, uh, played uh, arcade games. Um, we uh, just the way I want to remember him. Um, not, I want to remember him being active. Because we, um, uh, he actually, uh, taught, is the one who taught me about mechanics and trucks and diesels and whatnot. So, um, then we'll, I th we'll see how, how it goes, but he grew up in Biglerville and went to, uh, Gettysburg High School and everything, so. We, uh, Rachel's back, and we will that get on the road. Biggest what? McDonald's, like inside, I've ever seen. Yeah. Like their kitchen is huge. Yeah. Like when I worked at McDonald's, our kitchen was so freaking tiny you couldn't move anywhere without bumping into somebody. All right, lady, you sat there. You might want to back up. <laughs> mm -hmm. which way is she gonna go? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. She got it. Well, she sat there, she could have let this other car go through, and then she could have backed up. There you go. Oh, my goodness, lady. Old ladies in their Camrys. Well, she was probably uh, YouTubing. <laughs> Just like this other woman up front here in the BMW is doing. Okay. Can we fix that? And we'll get off on our merry way. Okay. smell the burgers coming off you. Me? I was yeah. in there for not that long. Oh, damn. Other lane. That's okay. What? I'm a Perry County scumbag. That's what the back of that car says. Oh, okay. <laughs> I seen the National Guard plates there. Uh. That's how you can get your license plate now. 
Okay. Tell people you're in the National Guard. I'm sure they have one for reserves. But why would you want to identify yourself? Um, I thought we were supposed to be incognito. But if you get on a license plate like that, and especially all these vet, vet war veterans, um, they're turning. safe at home. Um, I don't know why the reason was because I was scared all the time. I'm still scared all the time. I can, it takes a lot for me to get out of bed and go to work. Uh, I don't know what it, what the term would be if you're in constant fear. Um, Take 1115. So when you get up here, it'll. Yeah. South. I wonder how many of you out there are agoraphobics and agoraphobia. someday when my massage hands give out I'll have to go back to school for something else to make a career Navy I, US Navy veteran yep he's got a dog in the back Beagle. so he, he that's probably his uh, 
Service dog. Service dog. You're making a wrong turn. <laughs> <laughs> Master. Master. Need to go that way. Need Master, to to towards McDonald's. Yeah. Towards McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> I want cheeseburgers. At least that's what ours were do. We were driving the other day and a Domino's delivery car passed us and Rocky was freaking out in the back seat because he was apparently hungry and he knows what Domino's... Yeah, it, it merges into mine. He knows what Domino's looks like. So he was like... He wanted some pizza, I guess. Well, this guy has a normal getup. Yeah, he's not a newbie. Yeah, yeah, he's not a newbie. <laughs> All the other them. people said, "Oh, you gotta wear these orange things on your legs, and you gotta wear something to protect your neck." And <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta meanwhile, wear they're all yeah. chuckling at him. <laughs> yeah, because he looks funny. Yeah, it would be nice to win a hundred thousand, but that'll never happen in my life. You actually have to take the chance, but money goes towards bills. Oh my, here we go. They just let that side go through. Mm -hmm. They're just now letting them go through, so we're going to be here a while. You're supposed to have lights on when you go through these uh, work areas. State law. But half the people I noticed don't even have their lights on. And you're supposed to have your lights on, which what I think is a really stupid idea, is when you go ahead and uh, wash your windshield, you're supposed to turn your lights on and then wash your windshield with your lights on. 
I have no clue what that is supposed to help you do or entail. Uh, but a state trooper could pull you over if you're washing your windshield without your lights on. I would call that one of Pennsylvania's stupid laws. cement barriers in between what's being worked on oh they're putting in new guardrail and then they're working in the culvert break. They're, they, they're not working. They're eating. It's 12.30, so they should have been on lunch a half hour ago at 12 o'clock. Got all these guys standing out here in the hot sun. Go straight. Yeah. Oh, yes, we can. Just because they were turning. Prices on all favorites. Dollar, any size soft drink. Two dollars for a from Mick Cafe. Keep going. 
have just went down French Street when he came across that bridge. Yeah. But. But there. Um, I think down here, you, the way we're going. You have to turn right. Oh, we have to turn right? Yeah. Um, um, gotta remember where I'm down. Right down here. I see. Yeah, so down at this light. State Capitol. Thank God they're both going straight. Well, uh, if we would have went straight and went down through, what is it called? Warmlesburg? Yeah, see, welcome to Warmlesburg. Um, if we would have went down that way, um, there was places down there. Uh, remember, remember mom and dad going to the one place, the laundromat? And next door was a pizza shop. And uh, I remember that we used to go, because of, I guess we lived over there somewhere. That might have been my earliest memory. Um, because oh, light. there was Thank an you. airport. Airport there. A small little airport. Um, I remember that, and then I remember going trick or treating, and we went to this one house, and we looked through the window, and we seen this werewolf, and we really didn't think nothing of it, or or died it, and then when we answered, we knocked on the door and said trick or treat. And out popped this werewolf, and we ran off the top of the, stu the doorsteps, and everything ran away from the house. Because the guy had the full getup. He had the head, the torn shirt, the torn jeans, and then the feet. His legs were uh, all done up, too. He was authentic werewolf. But he scared the crap out of all of us, and I remember that as a kid. My dad was long for that. Um, I think he worked for a trucking company over in that area, if I, if I remember correctly. Um, and whenever there used to be stuff broke on the truck, um, they used to, like, the company used to...